23-year-old Pablo Villatoro says he likes working with his hands, like his dad, who's also in manufacturing. I wasn't sure what I was going to do when I graduated from high school. And coming here and see how everything works. And I like it. I like it a lot. I like my job. Villatoro is one of about 200 employees at Designatronics in Hicksville. The company makes small mechanical components like these pulleys. Factories don't look like they used to or make what they used to. The aerospace industry shifted, then computer-aided and automated technology appeared, forcing companies to adapt. We have shifted now to industrial products, robotics products. Um, we still supply a lot of aerospace business. Um, and what's very, what's been a really nice transition for us has been medical device. We absolutely need workers. Companies across the island are doing whatever they can to attract younger, skilled workers to trades like this one. Things like internships, on-the-job training, and tuition reimbursement. Here at Orlicon in Westbury, highly skilled machinists specialize in thermal spray and surface coatings for jet engines, automotive parts, and medical devices like a hip joint or knee replacement. Manufacturers say schools should shift some of their focus from college admissions to skilled trade experience for students who can fill out the workforce. We do high school tours. We're working with BOCES, where we are starting for the first time a shadow program next month. Companies say lots of skills are transferable from other careers as well, like construction and automotive. An entry-level machinist could start around $20 an hour, but someone with years of experience may earn closer to 40 or 50 an hour. It is a sustainable way of life uh, in an expensive area. In Hicksville, I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV.